Hello, welcome to Random Thieves. This is Ty, and I'm here at my buddy's house. Um, I'm super excited because he just got delivery of his um, higher end e bike, and he's uh, letting me unbox it for my, my channel. So I'm super excited about doing that. So, Baku is um, an e bike company out of Utah, and they make more hunting e bikes. So, these are bikes that you use, um, usually, you can attach a trailer with it, and you go out into the woods. Or what have you and you go and hunt and shoot your animals and after you shoot your animals apparently you gotta haul it back and so you know you gotta put it in a little trailer and haul it back home and they have a variety of models um, the higher end um, Baku is called a mule it's a mid-drive motor it's a 170 newton meter of torque um, buffet motor this particular one is their flatlander and as the name suggests it's more for I guess uh, people in Kansas you know, where it's flat. But apparently, you can still hunt when it's flat. And so they need a bike that can do that. Now this particular bike, um, did, he did opt for a upgraded battery, so it's a 21 amp hour battery. And so with that 750 watt motor and that 21 amp hour battery, in theory, you could get a range of roughly 80 miles on that type of setup. Now, I don't know if you're hauling a, a big carcass, I don't know what, how that affects um, your distance, but in this case, we're just going to just go with the straight bike with no hauling carcasses. Um, so a couple of other key stats on this particular bike, um, and we'll go through the unboxing, but it's got uh, front suspension, it's an it's a aluminum alloy composite frame, um, I already said it's a 750 watt buffet rear hub motor. It is a 9 gear, not a 7 gear, it's a 9 gear rear hub motor. And it's got like a 206 millimeter front disc and 160 millimeter rear disc brake. Um, so all the components on this bike is on the higher end compared to like some of the more, I guess, um, cheaper bikes like my adults. Anyway, so with that, um, let's go ahead and get the unboxing going and see what this looks like. Okay, so let's quickly go through what comes out of the box and then we'll put it together real fast. You got your user manuals that comes in this bag. You actually get a, a nifty hat. I don't know where the hat went, but uh, you got your pedals from Jania. Um, your charger, front light. Front reflector. Um, what is nice is it actually comes with 10 millimeter and 15 millimeter, as well as number five, um, six, and four millimeter um, Allen wrenches. So basically, it comes with all the tools you actually need to assemble the bike. So you don't have to go hunting for tools to put the bike together. And of course, you have your battery. Oh, there's a big boy. Oh, there's a lithium ion 21 amp hour battery. So let's go ahead and uh, finish putting this bike together. Just real quick, as you put in the front tire, there's a little plastic clip that they use for shipping that they slip in between the disc, um, I guess to protect the pads inside the, uh, the disc brakes. So you have to pull that out before you can put the front wheel in. There you have it, the Baku Flatlander. So, a couple of, of, I guess, details on the components. Um, 
It does have a suspension post to give you a little bit more comfortable ride. It is a 40 tooth front crank. Um, so it's really designed for climbing. In the back, there's nine gears and that's the smallest one being 11 and the big one being 36. So it's comparable of having like a 48 or a 52 um, given that you have all these gears in the back. So again, it is a uh, 750 watt motor. It does come with a rear rack. We didn't use the actual pedals. Um, we had some core pedals um, from another bike that the, my buddy preferred to use. So we went ahead and put those on. Um, just real quickly, it is a, it is a um, kind of a thumb throttle for speed. And then the, uh, the controller. Now, if you look at the bottom of the controller, there's the, uh, the M button is on this side and the power button. Um, I try turning it on, the battery I think is completely dead, so we'll need to uh, charge this big boy. Um, and then the shifter, the 9 speed shifter, is on your right. Um, and then, again, it is a um, 203 millimeter front disc brake um, from Tetro. And the rear one is 180 millimeter rear disc brake. Okay, so that took about 20 minutes to assemble. Um, pretty straightforward, just had to put the handlebars, the wheels, the lights, and then snap in the battery and the pedals. That's it. So 20 minutes, pretty easy, straightforward. The one bummer part was the battery had no charge on it. So um, I couldn't power it up to kind of go through the settings and just uh, see if I can go 35 miles an hour. That's next. Um, but just a couple more details. The charging is at the bottom of the battery when the battery snapped in. The key lock is right here. And the battery is always in a locked position. It kind of snaps in and there's a little tab that goes in. To pull the battery out, you have to put the key in, unlock it, hold it in unlock position, and pull the battery out. Now, on the back side of this battery, there is a USB port, and I think you can charge via USB, and then there is a power button up here. I think that's if you were pull the battery out and you want to charge it maybe like on your desk. Um, you can charge it using USB, and then you can check the battery percentages when it's not actually um, hooked up to the bike. So with that, um, we're gonna let the bike charge overnight and then see how it goes and uh, test out and see if we can go like 35 miles an hour. Um, also, my buddy needs a second bike for buddies of buddies um, and that will be an Aviton adventure. So keep a lookout, we'll be unboxing that bike shortly when that gets here. Um, so with that, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit the like and share button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. That would really help me out. And as always, thank you for watching and cheers.